Well, the I-75 construction has been giving drivers in Oakland County headaches since 2016, but there's finally light at the end of the tunnel. A wrinkle coming, though, once it is finished, and drivers in Michigan have never seen it before. Kim DeGiulio with a look at what's coming. Construction has picked up back on I-75, and so have those delays. But when this project is finished, it's going to be faster than ever before, thanks to the addition of another lane. A true HOV lane is coming to I-75. Unlike the flex HOV lane on US-23, anyone can use it outside of the peak times when it's being used as an HOV lane. There's no buffer, there's no barrier or anything of that nature. Uh, it'll be a general purpose lane that a solo driver can use. MDOT spokesperson Rob Morosi says it will be open this fall when construction wraps up. It will go in both directions on I-75 between South Boulevard and 12 Mile Road. It's really the most environmentally conscious way of adding capacity to a freeway. HOV, which stands for High Occupancy Vehicle, will accommodate cars with more than one person riding in them. At this time, Michigan is still waiting on further legislation on other HOV laws. Typically, motorcycles can use it, even if it's just a solo driver. Um, we anticipate that will continue. Uh, but in terms of alternative fuel vehicles, that's to be determined. To accommodate carpooling, MDOT is building carpool lots along I-75 as well. These lots are also expected to be finished this fall as I-75 will be mostly completed and that HOV lane will be ready for use. The tentative hours for those HOV lanes will be for the morning and evening commutes, for the morning between 6 and 9 a.m., for the evening between 3 and 6 p.m. Reporting along I-75, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. You probably know it's a no-no to drive solo in an HOV lane. There is no word yet on what the ticket for that would cost because that decision will be left up to the state legislature.